Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, I'm here today uh, going over the Bible, reading a couple things right now. Um, I'm in 2 Timothy, uh, reading a couple verses and stuff that I'm trying to relate to what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, yesterday, you know, there was a brutal attack on an elderly man named Robert Godwin, uh, about 75 years old. Um, I just now finished watching the video and I can't believe how this world is um, getting more worse day by day. And, uh, how certain people choose to ignore it uh, and just call it, you know, whatever it is. Um, I think the world is just becoming a lot more heartless than anything else. And, you know, it's a lot of a lot of different opinions on Facebook about what happened. You know, even some people on my Facebook, they're yeah, talking about, you know, you know, kill this guy, the one who did it, has heartless and this and that. And, you know, so many things just break my heart. Because like I said, I mean, if you really look at it, nobody really cares about anybody. And, um, but anyways, you know, let's go into the meat of what I want to talk about today. You know, first the end, the end of times. We're not going to get too much in that because some people, when they hear that message, they just start flaking out on me. But me, as being a Christian, and what I believe in, which is the Bible, and y'all can see it, okay? There's certain things in here that give me a roadmap map to what's going on. And my roadmap says this, you know, if you look into the New Testament, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses from 1 to 5, I'm going to be reading that New King James uh, version, okay? I'm going to camera a little bit closer. New King James, okay? And the New King James, it says, But know this, that in the last days, peerless times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, Lovers of money, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanders, without self-control, brutal despires of good, traitors, headstrong, haunting, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness by denying its power, and from such people turn away. He's already here telling us that through the uh, Holy Spirit of what's going to happen towards the end of times and how people are going to react. You know, you're seeing it today in society with, with the kids, the way they're being brought up, things are going on with the music, uh, certain messages are going on. Look what just happened yesterday with this one right here. You know, our presidency and everything else going on. And, and it's kind of crazy because, you know, the only thing that you even hear backlash on Facebook or anything else is just people just talking more crap. Ain't nobody getting down to the need to greet about it and telling us, you know, of what to do to stay away from this. But Second Timothy, Timothy, he says, just uh, stay away from people like that. But really, honestly, what do you do? Uh, you can't walk outside the door right now without somebody saying something to you. Uh, the other day, I was involved almost in a road rage or accident with some crazy lady behind me. You know, trying to get to where she's trying to get. You know, and, and it's, it's getting crazy out there, man. You know, I just don't seem to understand it anymore. You know, but what do you place God in all this? Everybody always wants to point the finger at God and say, well, God, you're the one who the, who's in demon with this. Or, you know, I already know the answer. Some people just don't even believe in God, but that's okay. You know, but what do you do? What do you do? What is the explanation behind this? And what is it that we really are fighting? What is it that we are really, what is it really getting to? And then let's go to another book here in Ephesians. And we're talking about what Paul, the Apostle Paul says in chapter 6, verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness and heavenly places. Basically, what he's saying here is this, for people who don't understand what I'm saying. Look at the biomechanics of a man, okay? It ain't just the flesh. You know, what we believe in, and maybe it'll make sense to you if you don't believe, but what we believe in, you know, is the body, the soul, and the spirit. The body is a flesh, cardinal thing. Your soul is your will, mind, and emotions of, of, a, of a person. Your thinking matter. And the spirit is what makes you who you are. Um, with this man that did this heinous act yesterday, his spirit right now is, is being attacked in many different ways. You know, how can somebody go from... Because I, I believe that, yes, we were all born sinners, but I don't believe we were all born evil. I don't believe that we would come out and ready to kill people and, and, and do heinous acts like that upon our own uh, and upon the uh, humanity. I believe something happened along the way that, you know, like it says, a seed that gets dropped into you and after a while, the seed gets watered and gets watered and gets watered to the point that now you're starting to think about some of these acts 
and these acts start to manifest in ways and certain things and then all of a sudden boom something happens one day you get up and look how this how this happened here the man was just driving down the street and he picked the old man and because he was upset about something else he decided this one had to lose his life that's evil people that, that's plain out evil there's nothing good about that but uh, I believe that God is in control of all this and these things have to be done to fulfill the scriptures in the Bible you know I pray for the family I pray for for both sides of the family that are affected right now everybody's affected there Mr. Godwin and, and his people and uh, the guy who committed his name is Stephen Mr. Stephen the, um, the people that are affected by what he did you know, it's a lot of people are hurt right now. Right now, this guy, you know, he's running through the country. He's on a manhunt. You know, we hope that he's uh, brought in and uh, has to face justice because he has to face it. I'm not saying here, I, I believe in forgiving, but I do believe that justice has to be served. And uh, you have to follow the law of the land. You know, God doesn't dispute that and God doesn't go against that at all. So we have to bring him up here, but at the same time, people just understand that I said this a while ago through prayer. Through prayer is how we uh, do things. Through prayer is how we uh, change things, how we change lives, how we change situations in our lives, how we can uh, intercede for others and be able to speak on their behalf even though they don't know uh, what they're doing, what they're doing is wrong. You know, I don't know this man where his beliefs are at right now, but if we're talking about an empty hole, which uh, some people, what I call just don't believe in nothing, become empty holes. You know, something has to fill up that space. Something has to fill up that space inside your heart. Now, what's filling up your space? Is it the love of God or is it just the hate of Satan? Which one is it? Whether you believe it or not, I don't really care. I came here to speak the truth like I've been telling you before and what I believe and what I know is the truth. It all relies on you and what you're going to do with your life and what you're going to do with uh, situations arise and come before you and how you're going to handle that situation. I go by this book right here. I've seen it all through the military to my ex-life and this and that thing said and uh, I've seen the evil and I've seen looking at people's eyes and just seeing hate there and knowing that that's not that person something is there but I can't tell but something is there and every last one of you guys out there have seen the same exact thing and you can't sit and tell me well that person's evil you don't know because you can sit and look at that person right there and say you know what that's not you I've known you for this amount of time something's there that's the warfare that we're fighting against. So be prepared and be ready when you're out there. Pray before you go anywhere. Pray before you get inside your car. Pray before you walk down the street. Pray before, pray, 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 people. Because there's no only way to battle such things like this. Because you never know. This elderly man walking down that street one day, or yesterday did not know that it was going to be his last walk, or his last stroll, or his last um, everything right there. You, you understand what I'm saying? So you guys, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing and, and uh, just join in next time. Love you guys. And uh, we'll continue more on other things. Um, I was going to do something else today, but this one hit my heart after I kept seeing the stories and uh, hearing the news and just knowing that we have to come together more as a community, more as a humanity, and be able to uh, debate and discuss things like this instead of coming, uh, everybody having their own hate message and, and hate this and I hate that. And, you know, and everybody's got their own little opinion. In the church, you guys need to wake up too and start speaking more about this. And stop being silent during situations like this. Speak about them. Tell people what's going on so they can be ready and know what to do and what they have to do. Whether they're believers or not believers. It's not just for us, it's for them as well. Love you guys. Y'all be blessed. I'm out.